Marty is somebody who's been avoiding the truth and hides himself in religion and religious theory rather than dealing with the, the problem that's on his doorstep. He might be able to deal with other people's problems in the parish, but he doesn't seem to have dealt with his own particularly well. I'm the sister of the vicar's wife, who's been a missionary in Uganda for 30 years and uh, the two sisters hadn't seen much of each other along that time. And when Bardi, the husband of the vicar's wife, dies, the sister, Ruth, comes back with a secret to reveal, and it throws the cat among the pigeons. I think audiences will laugh and cry. Hopefully they, they go away, having done both. I think it's probably something that will resonate with quite a few people because it's a it's, it's not necessarily living in a parish or anything like that but the the wider themes of marriage and marital issues and I am the widow of Bardolf who has been the vicar of the parish for some years and he has recently died and I am Grace who plays his rather angry and sad and belligerent widow. As the play progresses you understand where her sadness um, has come from uh, she's had a lot of loss during her marriage, which she, one, the audience become aware of as the as the plot opens up. Being the daughter of a vicarage myself, it's it's quite interesting seeing people a playwright's version of priests and priests' wives. And, yeah, it's it's a truth that you know the expression where behind every successful man is a is a good woman, a good strong woman. And it's nothing. It's never more true than in a vicarage. It is it is slightly operatic this whole play. And and it has these wonderful sort of highs and lows and shapes and I think is, is going to be very exciting, very exciting for the audience, yeah. It's a very universal story. I mean, it's a story of love, it's a story of compassion, it's a story of redemption, it's a story of forgiveness. So there are many, many, many elements in this.